Hello everyone and welcome to whatever the heck this turns out to be. So, in this show we're gonna watch some movies that we find in different places. Um, we're gonna focus on mostly cheap and weird movies. So, for this uh, first one, this first episode, I have picked out something hopefully very special for you or for us to watch. It's called Asteroid vs. Earth and I found this movie in a, dollar, in a dollar store in one of those bins. So I don't know what this movie is. Uh, the tagline is heaven is falling so earth must move. And I will read, on the, uh, I'll read back here for you. Uh, a shower with Ultra-massive meteors are on collision course towards Earth. It threatens mankind to extinction. The world's most smartest scientists and researchers must gather together to gather together to come up with a plan to, to get the Earth out of orbit to avoid total annihilation. Unless it's already too late. The Earth is on a collision course with an asteroid. The plan is to detonate nuclear explosions in the Yap Trench. This will cause earthquakes big enough to move the Earth out of the path of the asteroid. How long till impact? We haven't got much time. Fire. No. A small fragment's going to wipe out Hong Kong in 15 hours. Heaven and Earth. It's approaching too quickly. Will. Earth. So, so you can we we just watched a movie. This, Horrible the, one. The, the, <laughs> this fun little movie here, this little gem. So, our thoughts on it? Uh, yeah. What, what did you think of it? I thought it was a a remake of Armageddon with their own twist. Yeah, with a horrible, <laughs> horrible a, one. With a stupid twist. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, instead of blowing up the yeah, asteroid. Yeah, so. yeah. I was just gonna say, can yeah. you can you explain can you explain what happens in this movie? I don't really know. It was <laughs> complicated. <laughs> it's uh, pretty straightforward, really. Um, an asteroid is eight days and four hours from impacting the Earth. The asteroid is uh, effectively impossible to move with the tools and time at our disposal. So. uh... The idea of it was the asteroid was on its collision course towards Earth, and instead of blowing it up, they couldn't because it was too big. They had to move the Earth by exploding a nuclear bomb in the in some underground underwater. Um, yeah, well, what, uh, like, a, like, uh, a, like, what are they called? Trenches? Yeah, a trench. In the, and what trench? In the, in, the, yeah. in, the, in the ocean, right? Yeah. We set up earthquakes around the Pacific Ocean, generating a cumulative seismographic impact over 18 on the Richter scale. At just the right place, at just the right time. By the equator, near sunset. That's over a trillion times more energy than any nuclear detonation you'll ever have, so it'll definitely move the Earth out of the asteroid's way. You want me to blow up the Yap Trench? We should start at the beginning, though. Uh, the, the movie started with uh, the, inter <laughs> the intern. Who are you, Tally? I'm the Keck intern. <laughs> the intern and his uh, 20 fucking computers he used by himself. Uh, like like mil million dollar equipment that he used all by, by himself <laughs> for some reason. And then, um, yeah, it was he. Then uh, he discovered the the meteor heading for Earth, and then he called someone. This is hers. Evan, do you know what time uh, it is? Uh, I do know what time it is. I don't know why I hired you. What are you doing? In fact, it's over a uh, 99% probability. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. What is it? 
There's a meteor heading towards Earth in 10 days. Oh, wait there. Wait here. Yeah, yeah, let me figure this out. <laughs> and then like, like a SWAT team? <laughs> like yeah, show it up. doing here who do you think pays for all this stuff yeah like they introduce almost every uh, main character in the movie by yeah by setting us yeah by a SWAT by, uh, by NSA with drawn SWAT guns, team yeah. with drawn guns yeah. so the plan was to detonate uh, atomic uh, warheads in the trenches like on the bottom of the ocean and then the movie turned into a submarine movie yeah which I didn't expect at all but then again, maybe I didn't look at the back of the cover with the submarine on it, apparently. <laughs> what do you thought about the, like the big speeches? Or were pretty, yeah, the, pretty yeah, 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 right? the, the, the big speeches, yeah. The, there were a lot of people trying to make big speeches and inspire people, but, <laughs> you know, the thing, the thing was, we, we, we just didn't care about any of them. The USS Polk has been assigned to serve as a last line of defense. The plan, from Air Force Chief Masterson, is to detonate nuclear explosions in the Yap Trench. This will cause earthquakes over 18 on the Richter scale, big enough to move the Earth out of the path of the asteroid. This remains our job, and we have to find a way. I couldn't be the only one on board who knew the truth. And all the people, um, and all the people when they died, you know, they tried to, try yeah. to do the, the dramatic music yeah, yeah, yeah. and people, you know, no, <laughs> this, but we just didn't care about any of these people. <laughs> One thing I didn't understand, they explained in the movie that by blowing up, uh, they were going to move the earth by blowing up those warheads, nuclear bombs, to move the earth. And it, uh, and it started like a reaction on earth with big earthquakes and they explained that it will kill like half the population on earth. What he's suggesting could kill over 50% of the people on this planet. If the alternative is all of us, we don't really have a choice, do we? And, and then they didn't mention any of it in <laughs> no, the end. No, no, no. Everybody, everybody on Earth survived. Yeah, everybody, like, yeah, except every, everybody's too. okay, apparently. <laughs> There was kind of two plots, one on the submarine with the, the, <laughs> the researchers or scientists, I guess. And then there was another plot with some military guy. Who watched the nukes on the mainland. He, because the, yeah, yeah, and he had, he, he had to take, he and his buddies had to take it to some, some island that apparently still had, you know, World War II traps on it yeah. or something. We gotta detonate these nukes. Saipan Island volcano. Saipan? Are you serious? That's right. Sir, you do know the war on Saipan never ended. <laughs> that is true. The last Imperial soldiers were not captured until 1951, six years after we dropped the bomb. So many Japanese held out for so long, the island is still one big booby trap. So let me get this straight. We're supposed to cross a battlefield covered with 70-year-old munitions Climb up a volcano and drop a bomb. Hoorah, Marine. Hoorah. Hoorah, sir. Let's do it. One guy just steps on a, a landmine, I guess, and gets blown up. And <laughs> you see him on the beach with no legs and stuff. And, <laughs> uh, and they try to make it uh, again. That's what dramatic. Another, yeah. a, a dramatic. Another death scene they try to make dramatic. And but. We, we, we have seen like two minutes of these <laughs> guys, we don't know them, we don't know anything about them. Sorry, Zizi. 
When they get to the island, it looks like you know we have a beach, and then you have like lots of lots of jungle, and then yeah. you have the volcano. Yeah. But uh, like in the next scene, yeah. from the beach, they get to the volcano immediately. And then, then but, the, but they like when apparently it's on top of the volcano because it makes ready to drop the nuclear bomb. Yeah, he, he's on top on the. But on that the scene, you right? see the ocean. Like yeah, you see like the, ten yeah, meters away. Ten or meters away, you see the ocean, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, his uh, his <laughs> two friends who were left on the island. Yeah, they. Yeah, they're they're just gone. Apparently, yeah. they drowned or something. <laughs> yeah. You don't you don't see any of it. You just see. I think they that I think that was the implication, right? Like the water had raised almost all, all the way to the top, but they don't they don't, don't explain yeah. that at no. all. Jump in the volcano, and uh, uh, yeah, and that causes like the earthquakes that they they've been talking about the whole movie. Yeah. And then we see, uh, was that the scene when we saw? Was that before when we saw you know Los Angeles or or some no, Shanghai or something? That was before, right? No, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Yeah. There, there's one scene when the, I think maybe it's at the end. I don't know. There's like big earthquakes are about to happen and then we see like uh, the earthquakes are happening you see Los yeah. Angeles the Capitol Records building and some Shanghai maybe some, yeah. some Asian city but you don't see pe people people are not pe panicking yeah, yeah, they're just walking casually yeah. walking casually just buying <laughs> you probably uh, shake the camera yeah there. you don't see any any debris or anything you just see yeah. some guy literally standing on the street in Los Angeles, shaking the camera yeah. <laughs> for a little bit. We have to talk about uh, uh, the death of the intern. Um, you know, at the, the the guy who discovered the whole thing, and the, oh, in the yeah. in the room with all the computers. Yeah, I remember. Um, so the int intern, the intern dies when um, the f they drop the first, uh, the first nuclear warhead in the trench. H him and the main military guy. Oh, we haven't even mentioned him. The 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 military yeah, the, guy, the American military guy, uh, played by the guy I think from uh, who's a Bond villain in License to Kill. He's also in Die Hard, one of the cops who gets blown up in the helicopter. I think. Okay. I, I think that's the guy. <laughs> they were standing there when the big earthquake hit in the room. Yeah. Then he gets some debris or something, I guess from the roof? Yeah. Hits him like... And then you see he's bleeding from the, you know, the mouth and he's dying. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then we get a good look at the debris that's landed on him. It's, yeah. li it's, it's like... Um, it's supposed to be you know, concrete from the roof, but but you can see it's just, you know, carton, like a, yeah, like yeah. a bit of paper. Okay, yeah. yeah, but he dies. Does that intern have any ideas? The boy is dead, Commander. And then you see another shot of the main military guy sitting in a, <laughs> sitting, sitting in a chair, and the rest of the room looks fine. It's look, it yeah. looks like the, just some paper got thrown around yeah. on the desk. <laughs> you know, apparently it's standing in the wrong place then. Yeah, the rest of the place looks just fine, <laughs> except for the papers uh, at the and at the computer desk. And I might have been wrong, but I, I thought I saw in the next scene the exact same place. Uh, the the papers were all gone, then the yeah. desk looked completely fine again. You know, yeah, all clean up. All yeah. the you know yeah. the monitor stood perfectly. <laughs> General Masterson. 
so the end happens, the, the, the military guy jumps in the volcano, you know, it gets blown up, uh, Earth is apparently, they don't mention any of the people, yeah. any, any people dying, <laughs> the Earth is apparently okay now. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's, it's just ended, right? Yeah. Ended yeah, it, it ended as quickly as uh, yeah the main two main researcher guy who we haven't even talked about that much, but they were boring as hell. Yeah. So what's the matter with you weak? Ah, oh, you wouldn't understand. Because I'm stupid or insensitive? <sighs> Fine. Uh, this was an asylum movie also. I didn't know that when I bought <laughs> this movie. They're like a low low budget company. Yeah. They make really cheap low budget movies. And uh, usually with really, really silly and stupid effects. I thought this movie was kind of boring, you know, there was no, you know, the premise was kind of fun when I read, you know, when we read, the, you know, moving the earth and stuff. Yeah, it sounded good. But uh, it was mostly, <laughs> mostly people standing in rooms yeah. and talking on monitors and, you know, and the, the rooms looked really cheap also. <laughs> And I thought this was, fun. this was funny when they call uh, the China guys, the China yeah. military guys, uh, that was just some cheap apartment. And then they had like, in the background, put uh, how, <laughs> maybe they talked to each other, how are we going to make this look like more like China? <laughs> so they put like samurai sword <laughs> in the background. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah, I guess, why not? Do you have anything more to say? No. Not really. So, would you, you Yuki, would you recommend this movie? Definitely, definitely not. No, no. <laughs> I would give it like four out, no, three out of ten. Three out of ten. I never liked you much anyway. He would not recommend this either. I, you know, not even for fun. It was kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, there. If you want a stupid movie, there's a lot of other stuff you can go get. See you on the next show where hopefully we'll be watching something more fun. <laughs> yeah, see you guys.